Hey guys, uh, this is uh, this is my friend Armando shop. We've been working on his uh, air conditioner in here. It's a shoe repair shop, and uh, anyway, so we're working on the water source heat pump in here. And um, a little building control board. Bye bye. Don't need that anymore. Um, but this thing has just been a disaster. Um, I got here. I found the condenser water uh, valved off. Uh, which is a good thing it was um, because we had the old hose sets uh, had steel ends on them and uh, we had something like this over here uh, this is a new piece obviously um, the, the the factory female fit in here you know it's uh, five eighths inside five eighths refrigeration and then goes to three quarter pipes right out here uh, and they're, they're, so it's, it's a little special uh, adapter um, and then it was just like this, two males, male threaded into there, and, uh... No, it was a female on this end, excuse me, and the steel part of the hose end, the male end, was threaded into here, and it was welded, I couldn't get it apart, it was... So, uh, someone's electrolysis is it's corroded shut. Um, and this, these joints were brazed together, and then this, the threaded fitting, was brazed into there. So you couldn't even take it apart there if you wanted to. So what I ended up doing is I had to cut it back there, kind of rebuild all that. Oh, what a pain. And then, uh, so we got our grass nipples and uh, we got our water flowing again right now. Um, so, you know, it's checking for leaks and it's all good. Um, and we got our circuit setter over there. Uh, six gallons per minute. Uh, six and some change actually uh, for this two ton unit. And, uh, uh, control board in the unit was bad. Uh, the compressor starts and the fan starts. Um, but after uh, after I got done, oh man, got a tight spot here. Uh, I got this bad blower relay wired up. Um, I found that I got a, a bad control transformer. Uh, it's got voltage going into it and got nothing coming out of it. I, I got made sure I got them on different phases and stuff like that so we need a control transformer right. little temporary stat down here so we'll uh, we'll get him a control transformer so he can have some get some air conditioning but uh, this 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 thing has been up in the ceiling here and uh, it's, it's really gathered some nastiness and dust uh, we're gonna want to clean the, the air coil I'm pretty sure um, but like I said everything works so we'll get some new clean filters and a control transformer and uh, maybe a, maybe a, a shot back up here. We need some duct sealant over there. Looks like too. Uh, just kind of clean the mess up, and uh, and uh, I believe we'll have air conditioning here. Has, never has worked in the shoe repair, so this is kind of fun. I'm happy. Uh, but this all looks good, and it's uh, leak free, so I'm happy with that. And uh, we'll we'll see you next time. We'll uh, get this thing going. Old McQuay unit, two ton. Maybe a 90 something. 89, there you go. January 89, so early control board era. And they are pieces of shit, trust me. Well, no, nah, not the shoe repair, but the. Uh, so this is uh, what happens when you put steel and copper together. It's uh, nice and welded. Uh, the homie Travis says, no, 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 and uh, as you can see, these boys decided to go ahead and braze everything up. They even braze this male adapter to the female adapter. A disgrace. But uh, we got all of our water side hooked up now. Uh, our new line sets in there. Our new nipples. I uh, had to actually cut it out of the cabinet there. Solder everything back up. And there's our new circuit center. So we're finally uh, flowing the right amount of water. Uh, so we'll be back next time to uh, see you. Get to see if we can't get this uh, sold beast going. Oh, champion. Oh, fuck. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Just, just a quick, just a quick update on this one. Well, uh, hey, 
hey, there's a Pearl Jam song on. That's pretty sick. That doesn't happen very often. Well, uh, all right, friends, we have our service force uh, raised in here. And the old uh, the vacuum pump working away here. And there's our brand new manifold kit in action. And our very pretty, oh, look at that. We got a perfect vacuum for the that good. But, uh, got it hooked up here. Oh, yeah, our new service ports. High pressure, low pressure. And there's the fan fan relay <laughs> to replace the control board. Um, we got our micron gauge here, so we'll see. I'm sure it's pulled down pretty far right now. But, uh, I gotta reset it, I think. Just to see the fuel pressure and then. Going down pretty good actually. 250, 240. Oh no, that's 2000, excuse me. Nope. Well, it was pulled down to 400 a minute ago, but. This, this gauge is a little weird sometimes, but it'll, it's, it's been running for a while, so we're pulled down, pulled down pretty good. Um, so from there, we'll disconnect our hoses, uh, put our regular manifold back on there, and pull them down, 700, still get there. Uh, got our different guys right there. We're ready to charge it up here in a minute. Get the homie Travis. Travis looking at his paycheck. I should go. Having a good old time here in the shoe repair. <laughs> Got the homie Travis uh, probably probably gonna do something. Go pretty quick. <laughs> but uh. Oh yeah, look at that, we got 480 microns. Four seventy. Four sixty. Four fifty. I said it. Four ninety I say Four fifty. Four sixty. Oh the the microns are going down with it. Isolated, that's funny. I'd say we're pretty pretty well dehydrated though. Well. So we'll leave it isolated and if there's no rise above a thousand microns in ten minutes, we'll be good. Alright guys, so in this part I had to cut the audio out again. I was uh, listening to Heat of the Moment in the background there, so uh, you, know, you guys should probably look that song up if you haven't listened to it in a while. Kind of reminded me of how great a song it was, but uh, anyways, so uh, in this part, I'm uh, I'm getting ready to recharge here. Um, you know, you see me kind of fiddling around with the valves and stuff. Um, we have it pulled down to we pulled it down below 400 microns there, I believe, and it didn't. I don't believe it rose above 500 even. So um, this is just me evacuating out the hose set. I have it evacuated up to that uh that little quarter inch valve there and um so and i uh, put a little bit of liquid up to that point so um so i kind of kind of i figure out it takes me a minute to figure out that i i closed the liquid valve on the tank uh after just putting a little shot in there so open it back up and uh let it let it flow into the system there so that's uh that's pretty much about it. You know, just uh, just recharge it here, and I don't, know, I don't know, not too much else to say, I guess. Uh, you can kind of see the uh, the equipment I was using. I still see. I don't know if I that refrigerant scale was something I bought again, or is that? Just, man, I think that one did get stolen. But uh, I have that same refrigerant scale again. I, I rebought it. Uh, it's a great scale, very affordable. It's a TIF Robin Air thing. 